Hello, you welcome. You watching the Funny White Man Show, which is the biggest, the brightest, and the most entertaining show in Africa. Funny White Man. Funny White Man. Funny White Man. But this way you talk, you too much. Give me five thousand man that you. Too much. So you get it like, when she move along the street, ah, yeah, me should like, I'm going girl. You know, my own people, ah, Charlie. Yeah, fine, it's fun. I enjoy it. And I'm one of those very few. I'm forever is taking it personal. I will at least say 160 million Nigerians are corrupt. How? I rather I'm looking for you. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a growth, and this is the time to build business and know the pitfalls and know what to do and what not to do. But there are months where you get business and months. You know how we do? How we turn up? <laughs> we did the way you did it. <laughs> 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 Hello, you welcome. You watching Trending Matters on the Funny White Man Show. Of course, they will bring you trending issues just to entertain and tickle your fancy. You're welcome, welcome to another, to another exciting, exciting episode of the Funny White Man Show. My name is Funny White Man, and we have lots of exciting stuff just for you. My first guest on the show today is a very funny comedian, he's an actor and also a content producer and he's going to be coming up on the show very shortly but before you know uh, so you know every week i bring you interesting and very funny videos just to make sure you laugh and also have a great time check this out we'll be right back i love this video it was on like the 5th of august when i invested money in mmm i squandered the profit but last week, I borrowed five million from my in-laws. All for me to wake up and I heard that the thing has crashed. Please, my fellow Nigerians, all I need is for you to help me with any amount you can help me with. So that I can return the money back to my in-laws, please. You will not see shame. You will not see luck. Pity me so that God will pity you. My account number will show on the screen. Any amount you can help me with. God, God bless you. Hope you enjoyed the, the, the small sketch you just saw. It's actually from our guest. Please welcome D1. Welcome to the show, my brother. Thanks, man. Thanks. How are you doing, man? I'm all right. Your name is D1. Yeah. Is that your real name? Well, that's the stage name. Okay. That's the name that um, you gave we, yourself. Yes. No, well, people gave me the name. Okay. Uh, Why? Like, well, because most people that are called Dio, my name is Dio, actually. Okay. Most people that are called Dio, they call them D1. Okay. Yeah, so that's it. Nothing. Okay, Dio. D1. E. No, Dio, like your full name. Okay, my full name is Dio Adirombi. Oh, really? I think that would be a better stage name. Daya Adirumbi, brand name like Bovi yeah. Uboma, Bryce yes. Akposha. That's very good. Basol Tare Jr. Yeah. Change them. After many years. <laughs> you can blow by like that. <laughs> After many years. And hey, you'll remove your own funny white part too. Eh? No, if yeah, I tell you my real name, you go very soon. No, no, no. I'm not Chiso. I'm from Delta State. Oh. Yeah. What's Del your name? No, you don't need to know my name. How you doing, brother? I'm I'm doing good. You're looking good. I feel on that dress right now. No, why? It's just simple. I mean, just white on white, nothing. You got be like screen uniform, have you? Exactly. Okay, let's let, let's go back to comedy. Uh, why why comedy actually? Well, comedy for me is a calling. <laughs> you call as in we they call in as in how? It's a calling. Okay. They call me inside this work. Okay, they use MTN line or which line? I I got I got a divine call. Okay. You know, but that's why. Um, th when I was in school then, I was really, you know, I was skeptical about it. Should I do this? I studied architecture. Should I okay. go into buildings? Yeah. Should I go into making people laugh? And then, you know, I, I got a divine call. Wow. My son, <laughs> do this work. <laughs> really? And it's, uh, in your sleep or you're just thinking different, about it? Different, different, different confirm. Because I'm a very, I, I like to be convinced. I like to be sure of what I'm doing, you know. So, okay. uh, my sleep. You just not be nightmare. <laughs> I'll be nightmare. Oh. <laughs> okay. Nightmare are something scary, you know. Okay. But this one, this one is bringing so much joy. Okay. Uh, I've never said this before. It's a calling actually for me. Okay. So, um, uh, that's why I'm of the school of thought that comedy 
comedy is divine okay. you know comedy is divine you cannot you i don't think mm. you can learn it but you know go last okay but if it's inside you if it's in your blood you know some people they every everything they return out to play yeah uh -huh. i mean that kind of but but i'm trying to come sorry to cut you there but no bobby actually said he didn't see himself as a comedian he saw himself as a funny actor and content producer and so it was like if you if i can do it i can be a, as in a solid brand by learning comedy you can do it you, you can't learn comedy <laughs> you can see you you need to have he, he, he said he, he saw himself as a funny actor yeah funny actor you're already a comedian he had it somewhere inside him. Okay. You know, say some people they take things personal. Yeah, sure. They try not to, but then they they don't find some things funny. So if you if you are that kind of person, how do you learn how to how to, how to be funny? You have a point, my brother. You have a point. Because as you did like this now, yeah. I see joke. The everything is like I, I can turn everything, every serious situation to a joke. <clears throat> you know. Look so at me now. Crack one joke right now. No, let's not do that. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. The one where I want to talk, if he pay you, if okay. he, yeah, you might send me out of here. <laughs> no, no problem, like, no problem, my brother. Mm. But when, when did you, when did you actually take this personal? Like you wanted to say, okay, this, this is when I want to do comedy like seriously. Which, what age? Two thousand and eleven. Two thousand eleven. That was that was when I took it very serious. I, I've okay. been I've been joking with it, you know. Okay. Even till now, I've not really got into where I want to get to, okay. you know. But now, small, small. I like to take it easy. Okay, they you say you, I started from the bottom. Now, nah, yeah. exactly. Okay, you started from Osho. The now you are here. No, I didn't start for. I was. I, I didn't start for. Funny enough, I started in London. No? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so the bottom started for me. <laughs> I started in London. Funny enough, started and, and it was just how good I gave my first major platform, okay. Crack Your Reads London, 2010. I can never forget, you know. And that's why I owe him a lot of gratitude. He's a very great man. I miss, I miss him. You miss him so much. Okay. No. When I mean I miss him, like, yeah. you know, every every time I talk to him, I just, I just, if I know, you don't know, worry. No, I understand. I understand. And you came back to Nigeria. You won, uh, I think, Motor Guinness or Amsterdam Motor. Amsterdam Motor Showtime. Okay, and you also won Alibaba Spontaneity. Yeah. You got a brand new car in the house in Banana Island. I had. No, no, no. It's just a brand new car and, and some millions of naira. Wow, that's amazing, man. <laughs> I, I can't wait to be a millionaire, my brother. No, but well, yeah, <laughs> millionaire, true. Yeah, sure. Funny sure, enough, sure. I, I was a millionaire with that competition. Really? Now, now I just think I'm, but I've always been a millionaire since. Okay. So nothing was new. It was just the car that was very new and. <laughs> my brother, no problem. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of discussion about comedians copying, like copyrights. You go crack one joke. So maybe I'm going to see him, go crack him for another place. How, how you see that? They don't teach your joke before. Yes, now. Where, where? Yes, now. It was a show on Sunday. Someone still used my material. But the thing is, um, to be honest, yeah. I think every comedian has done it before. Okay. Yes. You don't teach the material before? Yes. If there's no comedian that would tell me that he has not used someone's material before or someone's line. or, But it gets to a point after you don't do this work yeah you know it gets to a point you should start creating your own jokes yeah. you don't expect a bovie now to tell someone's joke it's very he has got to that he has built himself to that level that yeah, sure. do you understand what i'm saying yeah let so, me write it down please <laughs> okay, so everybody everybody would have done it at a point yeah. but it's when you now when you spend like how many years in the industry and you're still doing that then it's rubbish you know? and, and and there's something about cause some comedians that they get to a point they run out of ideas they can't they tell one particular joke like that joke they're not you know they it's, called, it's called writer's block that thing is is numb it's almost sometimes you, you're busy doing a lot of things you don't even have time to you know yeah think time to because this thing is inspiration yeah sure some people now when they did toilet at that time inspiration they come some people now when and you will be shocked some people now when they, they clean their ear we don't get one idea and they do and every time they do that they have ideas okay. so it depends you need to find what works for you okay you know it's right as and it happens to almost everything. one thing that i know that's helped uh, the comedy business abroad as in when it comes as in europe most comedians started off as writers they write for big comedians why in nigeria no one will do that one it's like you go they write joke for me 
then you go come talk and then the whole world will come tiff him. No, I'm going to blow the go, but you're going to write a joke for me. Well, we're, we're still getting to that level. Okay. We have, we have, there, there, are, there are people that might fall into that category later on. Okay. You know, we just started now. Comedy never really boom for Nigeria like that. You know, we're still yeah. growing. But trust me, like in the next five to ten years, we'll have what you're talking about professionally, like writers. There are writers already, you know, that are making big money. But then okay. we'll have comedy writers writing for stand-up comedians. Okay. We'll have them making so much money very, very soon. Do you see yourself, yourself as one, one of the writers? I write for myself. If yeah. I don't even wait to write, I feel form joke on the spot. So, really, I may, not, like I may not need a writer for a long time. Okay. But maybe later... You know, when family don't set in, when you just want to chill and be lazy and bless one writer, or maybe, you understand? You yes, can just. I understand, yeah. I understand it, my brother. You know what? I, I, before uh, we started, I told you about something. Yeah. I don't know where you're ready for that. I want you. You know, most comedians actually started from the church. Churches, they gave us t t uh, big ups to churches. You, you gave us platform to grow as an industry. So I just want you to do some. Just give us, uh, preach like one or two sermons for us. I wonder your topic is uh one of your topic is bleaching cream and the other one is bushy armpits. Bleaching cream. Yeah. We well, need to preach like like a man of God though. See, more will not do that one. As I say, as you tell me bleaching cream, now mm. now nah, nah, you know, I just they look you, they look say maybe that's why you selected it. Because let's say they use them. No, not at all. This is natural. Uh, we yeah. can't know from hand, though. Okay, my mastery for you. No, now from middle of year, she will go know whether, or back of ear. <laughs> that they will go know whether I real. Then there's one point at your back, you might not be able to cream. If you can show us your back, your full back, make okay. we know, say. But that, obviously, we can't do that now. Yeah. You know. But then, bleaching cream, um, people, where they use on you, Bob Risky, Toke Makinwa, who else? Your colleagues mentioned him. <laughs> the joke is on you. You know, funny. You know, say when they yab you, you know they funny. It can never be funny. I'll finish it today. What's the second word? Bushy armpits. You can't see my armpits, my guy. Well, but I can smell. You, you, what about bushy and people are very wicked. Why would you have bushy armpits? Shaving cream. Yes. No, forget shaving. It's more expensive. Shaving stick. It's one of the. It's one of the cheapest thing you can buy. It's very wicked of you. Look into the camera and tell them. No, I'm talking to you because I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm smelling now. If not because of camera effect and, you know, we have to form as if we are okay here in, on the show. It's very wicked of you not to shave your armpits. And you invite somebody as a guest to your show. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not smelling like that. I'm just joking. Hope you're not taking it personal. But then people are wicked, though. This country. Go. And and these people that don't shave their armpit, they enter public transport, you know, because of the heat and everything. Yes. You know, they, and most of them, they, they always let go work. So they, they run. Some of them, are, they work with it. They go work, eh? Now hard work, oh, okay. not soft work. You know, say, <laughs> yeah, maybe they, they do all this carpenter work and everything. And imagine yeah. going back home, maybe around six, seven. You can't sit down beside that kind of person. Mm. My then, God. Then everywhere, come tight. Mm. You know, the person of you put in hand, they can't do like this over you. My brother, you sound you, you are sounding as, as in from experience. I'm experiencing it now. <laughs> so you know what I'm talking. And, and the thing about this thing, I say, me now when they smell this thing, you you are not feeling anything. No. To you, now normal fresh air. <laughs> so you can you understand where I'm coming from? Police are caught. <laughs> caught what? Don't cut anything. No. <laughs> well, do one. That was that was a good one. That was a good one. But just tell us, say the lie, shall you just crack your Nah, joke, nah, joke. It's not really that conk. Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, you, you act movies. Yeah. You, you're a comedian. You're an MC. You're a content producer. What next for your brand? Okay, um, this is it. Okay. What, I, I mean, I would have loved to say it, yeah. but it's not time yet. Okay. There's something that I'm doing. I'm working on it already. And then when it comes, I, li I like to be on my own lane. Okay. Once I see that people don't leave that lane, I'll come out. But there's something now that because comedy is very wide, you can express yes, humor different ways. So um, there's something I'm trying to start. You know, when it comes out, you will everybody go know. Actually, 
saw a video of yeah. you on on your page in, on Instagram, and you were you were doing satire comedy. Is okay. that what you want to do? No, no. Because you're a comedian too, so you want to know with style what I'm about to do. No, I, I don't know why you are interested in. It. I say it, when it comes out, you will know. Why are you poking into my affair? Okay, before you go, my brother, I'll play. We'll play a game. Okay. I'll call three names of top female celebrities. Okay. You pick one one you go marry. One one you go just get one nine stand with. Then one you don't want anything with them at all. Are you ready for this? You know the thing about this thing I say if what if my girlfriend and well, I must play the game. Yes. Okay, let me just uh, baby. This game now by it's part of the work. Sure you understand. So just try and understand. So if I say one night one night stand, I don't mean it. Really, I, I really don't mean it. So Number one, say. see me. Number two, Toke Makinwa. Number three, Bob Brisky. Hey! Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Come I'm, again. One night stand. Uh -huh. One night stand. Marry one. Uh -huh. Throw away one. Throw away one? Yes. First, see me is my darling. Really? Uh -uh. We went to Covenant together now. Okay. Not with the same set, you know, but... Yeah. I mean, that time she be gospel artist. Okay. You know, but even as she don't backslide, <laughs> she know really... Yeah. <laughs> She's still very good. She's okay. married, so now she go marry. Okay. One night stand. Ah. One night stand. You cannot go like catch disease. <laughs> but let's because of the games, because I have, you know. Because we have to play this game. Yeah. Toke marking wa. Okay. Ah! But that took about any wish. But because of the game's sake and yeah. everything, but I not go like they infected. <laughs> but anyway. The person who I go throw away, yeah. fling. Fling. Bob Risky. <laughs> I'll tr I'll also throw him away. <laughs> you will throw him away? Yeah, I'll throw him away. Okay, okay, no problem. I'm not gay. No, I know you're not gay. I was just At kidding. Least. I just wanted to add a twist this time. Yeah. Well, but I'm really gay. I mean, I'm, <laughs> gay means happy. I'm happy. <laughs> okay, my brother. Well, d thank you so much for coming on the show. My brother. It's been a great honor. I had fun. And um, you know what? I respect what you stand for and I wish you all the best in life. I, I, I respect what you stand for too. <laughs> and I wish you all the best too. Peace out. And you were just, it was just joking though. It was just joking. I'm, that I'm the ampit, no, 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 the ampit on the smell. I'm not smelling. I'm mouth. very nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all we have on the show today. Until next time, keep laughing. We'll see you next week. Bye bye. Hello, you're welcome. You're watching the funny white man show, which is the biggest, the brightest, and the most entertaining show in Africa. Funny you white man, funny white man, funny white man, but this way you talk, you're too much. Give me 5,000 man, that's you. You're too much. So you get to like, make sure you move along the street. Ah, yeah, make sure like, I'm going girl. You know, my own people, nah, it's valid. Yeah, fine, it's fun. I enjoy it. And I'm one of those very few. I'm forever sticking it personal. I will listen to 160 million Nigerians are corrupt. How? My brother, I'm looking for you. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a growth, and this is the time to build business. I know the pitfalls, I know what to do and what not to do. But there are months where you get business and months. You know how we do, how we turn up. <laughs> we do the way you do. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you welcome. You're watching Trending Matters on the Funny White Man Show. Of course, they will bring you trending issues just 20 days and tickle your fancy.